Hello Python programmers. So this is the video third of our machine learning with Python video series and in this video I'm gonna introduce you to our Python packages which we are gonna use in this machine learning journey. So let's see what are those packages. First is Panda, second is NumPy, third is scikit-learn or in short sklearn, fourth is scipy and fifth is matplotlib. So in this video I will give you a brief introduction of what these packages are and I will also draw a raw blueprint of how data travels from one library into another to complete its machine learning journey. So first of all we'll start off with pandas. Pandas is one of the best library to handle, manipulate and examine the tabular data. Now usually the data provided to us is in tabular form which is rows and columns so this library is one of the best to handle those data we perform many operation using this pandas library to see that what type of data it is now i have already told you in my previous video that the machine learning algorithm is decided by the type of data provided so this library is used for us to examine that what type of data is provided to us okay so let's move on to our second library numpy numpy library offers a numpy array which is a special type of array now you must be wondering that why why aren't we using the normal python array or python list now numpy array offers some of the advanced mathematical operation tools and also this is a very effective array it requires a very less space and as less space is required the operation time is also decreased so the so the processing becomes very fast this is why we use our numpy array now let's come to matplotlib so matplotlib is usually used to visualize our data now i'm pretty sure that you are confused with how these two library work but don't worry when i will draw the raw blueprint you will understand this very clearly so don't worry now let's come to matplotlib matplotlib is the library used by python to visualize our data in the form of uh, pie charts or bar charts or or any of such visual representation of data now let's come to our scipy now we have manipulated the data we have visualized the data we have done all the boring part of machine learning now here comes the most interesting part now scipy is the library having a huge collection of scientific calculation related libraries like integration interpolation linear algebra etc etc you just need to import that library from scipy and then just give the input and this and this library is very strong to just uh, give you back the output like now let's come to our last library which is scikit-learn now this library is the collection of some advanced machine learning algorithm now the algorithm consists of these mathematical or scientific formulas only like integration interpolation so so scikit-learn is composed or created from scipy and numpy because the data is provided as a numpy array and scipy is used because this library provides the scientific calculation so let me draw a raw blueprint of how this works so first of all here is our data let's say that this is our data now let me increase the width of my pen okay so let's say that this is our data okay this is our data now the data is provided to pandas okay so this is pandas library here we examine our data that how the data is what type of 
data it is then it is transferred to be created as a numpy array and n dimension array then it is provided to scipy sorry sklearn which have the collection of scipy and here all the magic happens the algorithm perform its action to give you the output now if you want now the matplotlib is very much optional if you want you can visualize your data using the matplotlib okay now i guess you got a very rough idea of how the journey of machine learning happens so this was it for this video and i hope i gave you a very brief introduction of what these libraries are now i will create separate videos for each of this library which will have some of the most commonly used commands like the next video will be of pandas then numpy and same for all okay so this is it for this video i hope you like it and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye